no, there shouldn't be too much of a market reaction to a rate hike. A bump up in rates, maybe 25 basis points, meaning a quarter of one percentage point in the Fed funds rate, has already been talked about for so long, it's been telegraphed for so long, that it's mostly baked into stock prices now. And beyond that, there's no need to hike further. The Fed isn't going to destroy the wealth effect it's engineered by doing something stupid to trounce stocks. That said, there is a chance investors could look at a rate hike as a profit-taking opportunity and sell stocks. But as a market buster, no, a small rate hike shouldn't be a game changer. Well, the timing will probably be this year, probably September, especially if stocks rally through the end of the summer. If they don't, then that bets off. Beyond that, beyond that first hike, the timing of the next move will be even more data dependent, so no one knows. The thing to remember, the company thing about a rate hike, is that beyond the first bump, which is a matter of Fed credibility at this point after telegraphing it for so long now, any other rate hikes will be because we're growing nicely, which is a good thing for stocks. Well, there's always the possibility that profit-taking could accelerate on the fear that there will be more hikes on the heels of the first bump. And that could panic investors. Because we're so close to all-time highs, any dip could turn into a sell-off as investors rush to book their paper profits. That's a great question. They've absolutely done both. Yes, the Fed's action on the heels of the 2008 crash and the Great Recession were necessary. If they didn't do what they did, the global financial world as we know it would have imploded. People don't know how close we actually came to financial Armageddon. It was that insane. But giving the Federal Reserve credit for what they did is like thanking the firemen who doused your burning house with water to save it after they threw kindling into all the windows, then poured gasoline all over everything and tossed in a match. The Federal Reserve's manipulative low interest rate policies caused the crisis. They caused the subprime mortgage bubble. That's not hyperbole. That's an economic and market fact. The Fed is America's problem. They are the reason we don't have free markets, why we have an increasingly awful income and wealth gap. The Fed is, and you're not going to like this, in my opinion, it's a criminal enterprise. It's privately owned by the big banks it feeds money to to leverage themselves up. And then it prints more money out of thin air to bail them out when they implode and wreck the economy. Americans don't know what the Fed really is. It isn't part of the government. It runs the government. The Federal Reserve System is a scam. Sadly, Americans think it's the savior. It's not. There are a bunch of firemen who give gasoline to big banks with matches in their back pockets and save them and refuel them constantly. It's a criminal enterprise. It's a cancer that American people should demand Congress abort.